versus NRG, our first clash of the titans here. These are two of our dynasties of Rocket League. One struggles to beat against the European teams, one struggles because they have a substitute player, but as we've seen all week, Turbo has been on fire in the scrims, so I am so excited to see this match happen. He really has been, and, and talking to NRG, one at a time, these players, I mean, they get frustrated. They in previous experiences, they've gotten knocked down to the lower bracket, and who do they fight? They have to find flip side tactics. And now here they are, number one seed, having to find Northern Gaming. I'm sure they've been a little bit frustrated with how difficult their matchup's been, but I expect this one to be quite intense. And you heard it on the desk, NRG struggling to beat any European team in the land setting. Northern Gaming has been a huge part of that in both seasons one and seasons two. So can they redeem themselves here? NRG, let's find out. You've got NRG in the blue, Northern Gaming in the orange, and let's get the match underway here. The crowd is so behind this NRG squad. You can hear it. it's just they already going for it. Already here. <laughs> We're going to see early on Fireburner pressuring into offense, cleared by Devo back into the blue corner. He'll get it past Jacob and Loft in front of the goal. A nice setup, but cleared by Garrett G. As they talked about on the desk, Garrett G transitioning into that defensive role. You see him there and now transitioning onto offense. Fireburner in the air, drops it straight in front of the net. Turbo Pulsa with the clear. You're going to see Jacob doing some unique things, as Garrett said in his interview. Him and Fireburner just kind of let Jacob do what he needs to do, and they fill the gaps that he leaves behind him. Jacob over the top. A bit of miscommunication with Fireburner. They both move out. Garrett G will be able to come in, clean up, send it to the corner. Pass Devo and Turbo Pulsa. A nice setup. We'll get a soft clear, but Jacob lost it high. Fireburner now in the air, into the corner. One more setup, back into the middle. And now Devo, uncontested, down the field. Turbo Pulsa to loft it. Remco around the corner. Put it back out into the field. Jacob now down. And Garrett lurking in front of the net. Fireburner moving up. He'll be able to put that one back into the box. Remco with the clear. He'll move that one back into the blue. Both teams playing wide and safe rotations. Oh, but here Jacob having to come off the back wall. But his mechanics are still strong enough. Fireburner able to put that one back into the orange box. But Turbo Pulsa out to Remco. He'll be able to get the clear. Go for the air carry here. Garrett wasn't ready for that. Trying to set up a screen for Turbo, but no connection. It'll remain in the blue corner. 3.27 left to go. Still 0-0 in game number one. Have to be a bit careful, too. Remco going out for that air dribble. That has a lot of boost wasted. So if they had gotten a quick counterattack, he may have been struggling. But now off the corner to Garrett. Will they be able to keep up the pace? Turbo able to loft it into the middle. Fireburner meets it first and puts it back in the orange corner. Back and forth between these two teams. Neither one to be the first to concede, but here comes Garrett driving it back into the box. Devo misses, and Remco able to get the clear there. Fireburner keeps the pressure on, and now Jacob falling back. He'll pop it. Going to make another save. My goodness, what a play by Jacob. Incredible stuff here from NRG, keeping us scoreless in game number one. And you can see what happens the moment Jacob makes a touch like that. He has a teammate right there to follow suit. He might do some uncharacteristic things, but at this point, with all the practice, Jacob almost touching that around Remco. Yeah, and trying to, it was it was a, a catch-22 for Remco there. Is Jacob going to be able to put it in, or is he just screening me out? I don't know which, but Remco able to get out of that situation and keep us scoreless here. They get the blocks in front of the net. Now Fireburner and Garrett looking for opportunities. There's the loft, Jacob lurking there. He'll go up to try and take a shot, but doesn't have much power. It'll remain dead in front of the goal. Fireburner's now got the angle, but Devo has the save. Remco with the touch over the top will stay scoreless. This is such a defensive game right now. NRG has seven shots right now with still two minutes left to Northern Gaming's only four shots. So it seems that NRG has had a lot of control when they do have it, but calm and collective seem to be Northern Gaming as well as on defense. They don't seem too stressed out. Devo's shot was a bit high. Garrett puts a little bit of extra power to wrap it around. He'll touch it again to keep it from crossing the net, leaving no opportunities for scoring for Northern. That's two players committed. Devo takes a shot. Garrett has to make a save once more. Three touches on defense in a row, keeping them clean here. Still scoreless in game number one. It might just be a one-goal game at this point, uh, Carpet. This could be risky. Had to push it over to the side. Talking to Fireburner a bit, he's also saying it's easy to not notice, but Garrett, when he's back, they have full confidence in him almost they almost never get scored on, he says, when Garrett is that third man back. He'll play that one over to the side. Jacob follows it up. He'll move out in the one position here. Fireburner quickly transitions into two. It'll drop down. Garrett moves up, but cannot get through Devo. Two second touches in a row for Northern Gaming. It'll give them ball control in enemy territory. Devo up to take the shot, but misses the contact. And that'll be Jacob, who immediately follows into the air. Remco, and then Fireburner. 
Back and forth in front of the net. The solid clear from Fireburner sends it into the orange, but no follow-up pressure. They'll be able to put it back into the, the box there. Is Turbo able to put it back out into the middle? Final minute of gameplay, still scoreless. Northern Gaming with the opportunity. Devo will finish it off, and they're on the board. Fireburner hoping he had a bit more space here, but sadly, someone was coming up, or I guess sadly in his case, Devo was right there, so close to Turbo Pulsa, just ready for the touch off that back wall. But Fireburner unable to get behind the ball, instead just underneath. Turbo following that off the wall to carry it and set it up for Devo right in front of the net. An unexpected play there, as they are able to get the lead. The first goal scored here for the gaming versus NRG. 35 seconds left right now. There's plenty of time for NRG to tie it back up. And they've got the pressure. It's lofted Garrett looking for an opportunity as Devo hits the air. Jacob over the top, back into the box. Garrett's there, oh! he puts it through. <laughs> tie game! This is what you don't expect, and this is what Jacob comes out so strong. Looking like he was going to retreat, he stays on the wall instead. Tries to read the push to the corner, passes it out. And Garrett, always that third man, following through with the shots he needs, tying it up with only 22 seconds left. And rocking them apex wheels, too. I want some of those. Turbo Pulse will put it around the airborne defender. Fireburner into the middle. Now Garrett G, uncontested on the wall, will be able to send this one back into the box. Fireburner looking for an opportunity. He'll be moving up now. Jacob lurking at midfield. Four seconds remaining in regulation. Score stays here. It's going to stay tied, and we'll go to overtime. Here we go, overtime in game number one. Exactly what you would expect from a teams of this caliber. Right up the wall, NRG winning kickoff. Follow-up touches in favor of Northern Gaming, but the ball will stay in the orange. Jacob fakes out Rimco on the side. And Garrett G with a lot of space in the air, drops it down. Jacob in the back now. It'll be up to him to clear this one away. Over the top of Remco. Turbo with a soft touch, but it baits in Fireburner. Now Devo and Turbo Pulsa moving up together. The setup off the backboard. Oh. Devo's shot is just wide. We'll go to the far corner. Remco to wrap it around. And Jacob to send it back out to midfield. Northern Gaming has been keeping their attack so tight, knowing that NRG can pace them and keep up to their speed. But they're staying so close that even Northern Gaming is struggling to predict them. Jacob now. Back out to midfield. Remco setting it down. That baited up three players, but they will continue to play this one out. Jacob demoed in the back, leaves no one in net. Fireburner in the middle has to rotate in quickly. Put it back over to the side. By time for his teammate to respawn. And Evo and Turbo bunched up here in the front. That leaves only Remco in the back. They will rotate after the punt. And Remco will move up to try and transition in. First minute come and gone here in overtime. Next goal wins it. So close to breaking this curse. They have a lot on a lot to go, but can NRG try and finally take down a European team, or will Northern Gaming continue to shut that out? A win in game one is very helpful in either direction. Garrett G up in the air. He gets it past Jacob. Can he drop this down? He'll be over the top of Garrett G, and Remco in the corner will slow this one. Wants to get past Fireburner. Does so successfully, and Remco on the side. Be turbo now. Sends it down. Garrett G plays it away out to Jacob. on the wall. Bates it past Garrett. Forces Fireburner to fall back. Northern Gaming with a good opportunity, but Jacob's right there. Clears it off to the side. Two minutes now into overtime. This defensive game continues here, but a Northern Gaming, so many opportunities, nothing going towards the net just yet. There's one of their better opportunities here. Can Remco get in the air first? Nope, Garrett's going to play it away. Now Fireburner very much out of position. After that follow touch, Jacob on the open net, it goes in! The setup from Fireburner does successfully work. NRG takes game one. Jacob just following up a shot from Turbo Pulse, so he gave up possession, clearing that out. He tried to follow the suit, you saw him rotate upside down, try and boost and follow, but he couldn't get there in time. I think his teammate expected him to follow that through and at least get a 50-50, mm -hmm. so he felt confident to go into the corner for boost, but this time it didn't work out in his favor. Northern Gaming, and NRG playing pretty safe, to be honest. Mm -hmm. A lot of times they'd, they'd make that drive, but the moment they saw any opportunity for a hard clear, even maybe like a weird 50-50, they'd drop back, they'd play it safer. But it seemed like finally in the end, NRG found that tiny hiccup 
that they needed to get them the first game. Yeah, it was a very it was a very safe game. A lot of defensive rotations, but that did not mean that there was a lack of offense. 13 shots coming out from NRG here yeah. in this game number one. The first game they need on the road to beating a North American or meeting a European team rather at the LAN, something they've never done. And if you watch how Northern Gaming does make their attacks, oftentimes they'll wait for any time a shot comes out. Mm -hmm. And as soon as they have full control, they'll shoot it out, pass it to somebody else, try and get a redirect. They want the counterattacks because they know that NRG on defense is going to be really hard to breach. And we have game number one here going to NRG. You know the crowd is happy about that one. And we'll see how game number two goes. Who do you think is the favorite, actually, of the crowd right now, NRG or Rogue? Ooh, that's actually really tough. It's a to really be tough one, yeah. right? I was after yeah. yesterday. I was like, man, Rogue is the clear favorite here. But NRG, we hadn't seen them play yet, and I don't, I can't even measure which one was louder. That's what they're trying to prove right now. Potentially one of them, but I guess we'll see later on as the tournament continues. But getting into this game, NRG now with the first game under their belt, giving them a little bit of room to breathe. They almost always feel the pressure early on in these series. Can they keep this up? Game number two set to go on Manfield. NRG taking game number one. They'll look to extend it here. Northern Gaming just looking to bounce back. Get a one to their belt. Send us to the critical game five, maybe. It's a long way away, but long ways away. We can dream, can't we? Always. Always. Garrett G now with two men in support. A lot of passing options. He'll move upwards, but Remco and Devo get the clear. Back to the corner. Jacob looking to set it back up into the box. Firebrenner keeps that pressure on Garrett. Looks, but falls back. Remco on the side, gave that ball a lot of space. Garrett G able to keep the pass on, keep this pressure on. First 30 seconds has been all NRG on the offense. Garrett G midfield defense puts it straight back into the box, but this one, a lot of space there. Devo will be able to get the solid clear. We'll see Northern Gaming on the offense. If you play midfield defense, you have to be careful as to how much space you give your opponents as well. We just saw Garrett, he did clear it out and stop the pass. Oh, Remco coming in for the shot, but it will be confidently blocked away by NRG. Yeah, Garrett G there in net again. The team trusting him, even as Remco came flying in. Now he's got the clear up. Got a second touch as well, into the corner. Jacob moves in, continuously just methodically pressuring that one through. It bounces off the post, and Jacob gets the first goal of game two. You know, as far as Jacob goals goes, this is pretty vanilla. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, his mechanics, he will always showcase when he gets an opportunity. Debo found himself facing Jacob and at the close post, which means that Jacob had all the room to shoot behind him, trying to have Devo go for the half flip, but you couldn't get it quick enough. Jacob will get a confident, easy goal early on. And I love the way the NRG set that goal up, pounding very quick shots into the corner, forcing the defenders on NRG just to block anything. They couldn't get any power, so they was able to just slowly, methodically work that ball down the field, set it up in a place that Jacob could shoot. He makes the most of it, and they have the lead in game two. Jacob now in the midfield will backflip, allow Garrett G to get the clear. Ramco goes up. You can play this one away. Lots of defense right now for Northern Gaming as they're struggling to get the ball out of their own half. Remco now with the opportunity. Cannot win the 50-50 in the air. Pass Jacob. And Fireburner on the backboard. Has the pass out to Garrett. It's onto the backboard. Where's Jacob? He's in the back. Remco will clear it away first. They'll get it out. They'll dodge that bullet. But still, NRG with so much pressure in game two. And remember, we cannot forget that Northern Gaming right now is playing with a substitute who they only used in the regional playoffs in the final game. They have not played a lot with Turbo Pulso, but he seems to have really found a groove early on. 2.55 left to go. In the second game of our series, Remco will slow this one down off the wall, but Jacob tackles. Pinch over to the far side, Garrett alone in the air. Be able to pitch it off the corner and drop it straight down. Jacob now up. Wins the 50-50 despite having an oblong angle. It'll be Garrett G. He's able to move this one down. Now Turbo with an opportunity in the box. Firebrenner takes it over the top of him. Jacob will go up, does not have the angle he wants. He'll actually whiff that one and fall back down, allow Garrett to move up. But we're past halftime. It's still just the one goal right now in the game for NRG. Northern Gaming, very few opportunities to score as the ball is spending so much time here in the orange. This is the, probably the best opportunity they've had right now. Turbo, if he can just get this pass out to Remco, nobody's set up in net. They do not connect on the pass. Fireburner gets the clear. NRG stays clean. And while it seems that NRG has had a lot of control, only four shots registered, which means Northern Gaming is cutting those opportunities off at the base, making sure that they don't even come close to being shots on target. Fireburner will send it off the wall to Jacob. Remco able to block it in the midfield. 
Garrett G gets it past him. Also past Turbo Pulse. So only one player in the back. What can Devo do? He'll get the spider clear away by teammates for time for his teammates to move back. But Jacob up with the shot. Remco with the save. Northern Gaming keeping it at the one goal game. But NRG trying so hard to extend the lead right now. 130 left to go. And Northern Gaming has yet to score. Be Jacob now. Remco plays it away. The 1v1 loses out. The European's able to block it. Devo now. Fireburner. Pitch it to the side. Turbo pulls it up for the shot. Takes it towards the net, but misses. It had an open net to shoot at, but could not get the angle into the goal. Jacob will transition this one back out. Garrett Jean will be able to put that one past Remco. Turbo puts it back up. Does it go all the way? No. Jacob with the save at the last moment. NRG is holding on to the lead right now as we hit the final minute of game two. With a minute left, they may find themselves one game away from finally breaking their curse. Will they be able to pull it off? But right now, it seems that Northern Gaming has the fire, and they are starting to rack up the shots. Oh, Devo sends it back into the box. Jacob clears it away. And he has the opportunity past Turbo, past Remco, but he gets it off the bounce off the wall. It'll be Turbo Pulse on Devo moving up. Cleared away by Garrett, back to the orange corner. And you see his clear placement gives them so much time, because none of the Northern Gaming players were in that corner. It means that they'll be able to keep this offensive going. Put it back into another corner. Jacob looking to set it up to Fireburner. Past his teammate. This will give an opportunity to Northern Gaming. Final 20 seconds. They need a goal to force overtime. Remco will take the shot. It goes wide again. Devo doesn't have the angle, and Jacob will just carry it past him into the corner. Final countdown here of game number two. Just the one goal game, and the ball is as it has been the whole game in the orange corner. So much pressure from NRG this game, and confidence as well. I think they may have overcommitted there towards the end. That last pass was a bit risky. He cleared it all the way over by the midfield. You can see the crowd in love this. They want to see their North American team that always falls so early, uncharacteristically. Now we see them. Will they finally do it? I think if they win this, if they take this series, I just want everyone to listen. Oh, look at this. Jacob bumping <laughs> up the crowd. And one of my favorite things here at LAN is watching the veterans get more and more comfortable. Every LAN they come back and they are more and more excited to get the crowd on their side here. NRG one game away now. They take games one and two. Northern Gaming has been doing so much to try and just get the ball out of their half. But as we saw there at the end, it's still in the orange. So few, they, they, they go, they move out, they take their opportunity, then they move back. While NRG is just sieging it up, just shot after shot onto goal. And something I would have mentioned in game one is that NRG had yet to play until today. Talking to some of the guys on the team earlier backstage, they just wanted to play. Yesterday, mm -hmm. they're like, ugh. Yeah. Like, yeah. I know it's kind of cool that we get a, a day off, but they just wanted to be on, out there on stage. They wanted to start performing right off the bat. And Northern Gaming got warm up a little bit. So in game one, I think, would have been their opportunity to try and start that lead, to try and get the first game of the series. But now, NRG, two games up, one game left. Will they sweep Northern Gaming, a team that a lot of people we're a little, you know, they're kind of the big question mark. We don't really know how they're going to perform. You know, seasons one and two, I would have told you right now, yep, NRG's got it in three games, but this has been the season of reverse sweeps. You never know what's going to happen. You're but not wrong. We know who the crowd wants. They want the 3-0 sweep right now from NRG. Can they do it on Utopia Coliseum? Let's find out as the chance continue. It'll be Northern Gaming winning out the first kickoff, but they give a lot of space there. We'll see Northern Gaming, or NRG rather, able to push this one back out. Up to Garrett. Jacob's lurking in the box. And Devo will block it on the wall. Break up that play. Ian Remco in the corner here. Jacob will just move in. A bit of confusion on the defense. The demo will help it out. And oh! Garrett G puts it in. NRG's up again. And that's enough pressure for them to be able to score this. Fireburner trying to just keep in the corner, forcing Devo for that first touch. And then Jacob just follows through. He's like, I don't have the ball. I've got you instead. Takes out one of the two goalies. Yep. There were actually two people in that. But between the smoke screen and yep. the tight angle, they're able to secure the first goal in 21 seconds. Wow. Oh, and NRG did a great job transitioning onto offense, and Devo breaks it up on the wall. But then he and Remco get tangled up in the corner. They're not able to get out. And you see Jacob immediately move in, pounce like a tiger, and finish that one off. They were able to get that play underway. Now with the lead, they hold on to this. They will sweep Northern Gaming and get their first win ever over a European squad. Four 16s left to go. Let's see if they can do it. Jacob moving out in the midfield. He'll follow this one down, hawking it into the corner. Dropping it to Fireburner. He pushes it through two. Devo's watching this one. Garrett G knows he's going to respect Northern Gaming. He's going to fall back. 
No shot opportunity there. Northern Gaming will be able to transition this one. But do they get the shots they need? They've been struggling here. There, they'll put it through. There's the tie game. Northern Gaming's on the board. Watch the way Northern Gaming comes up for this. All three of them together. Devo in the corner. Remco kind of seeking goalie and maybe a pass. Yep. He tries to block Jacob. I couldn't really tell if there was a bump in there. What registered, what didn't. But Turbo Pulsa, also his location on the shot. A lot of times when you're in a panic, you either will hit crossbar because you want a top goalie. But mm -hmm. he placed it well, kept his cool. And now with four minutes left at the tie game. Oh, Jacob flying down the field very quickly. Fireburner in the air with a follow-up. Bagarji lurking at the midfield line. He'll now move up in that third position, rotate in. Try to finish this one off. Turbo getting demoed. It looked like he was going for the demo on Garrett G, but got demoed himself. That opens up space for Fireburner to set this one out. Jacob's got the opportunity. He'll fake it out, allow the screenshot. <laughs> no, Garrett shot hits post. A brilliant play set up by NRG, but it will not come through. They'll keep the ball in the orange, but they have a little, they've backed off a little bit here, opened up some space. Is that another one? It, they're, they're trying to put it through. That one, it looked more like a setup for me from Garrett G. There no, wasn't, did wasn't Jacob just deliberately whiff again? It could have been. I didn't I, have the right angle. I honestly can't tell with him. He's the one player I was like, was that a whiff? Might have actually been I on purpose with that everything guy. he does is intentional. <laughs> I know, right? Turbo out, Remco lurking up field, going for the boost steal. He'll pass out to Turbo. Boost steal, good move to try and extend their offensive pressure, but there was no follow-up offensive rotation to keep that going, so they'll be able to move the ball. Will go end up back in the orange here. Fire burner now into the corner. Keep that pressure onto the backboard. Evo cleared away once more. Garrett G on the wall. Can he double tap it down? Oh! It goes in! It took three bounces, but NRG's got the lead back. You can watch Remco see it happening and have to change his mind. Like, oh no, don't do it. <laughs> he saw Garrett following through. He didn't think he had the boost or the momentum, but Garrett waiting patiently. Notice how he's made sure he stayed far away from the wall yeah. so that he still had room to take the shot. A lot of people make the mistake of just following the ball so closely that when they get to the back wall, they just have no choice but to pinch it. But he waited patiently and took the shot, redeeming that oh. bit of a miss he had earlier. Put that one away, Devo clears it. And Turbo pulls it with the follow-up. Jacob now back to the corner. NRG with the one goal lead. Past halftime in game three. Win this one here, they move on. It'll be the 3-0 sweep. Firebrenner lofting this one high. Turbo pulls it over to the side. And Jacob back into the corner, keeping the pressure on. Remco with an opportunity here, but he just pops it. Turbo Pulsa wasn't ready for that. This will give space for Fireburner to move up and put it straight back into the orange corner. Devo with a soft touch. Garrett G with the shot. This is the same as it was at the beginning oh. of the game. That shot from Garrett G just barely wide. Jacob keeps the pressure on, and NRG is just toying with Northern Gaming right now. They're trying their best. The Northern Gaming, to be honest, is incredibly calm right now on defense. Even a couple of moments where they should be panicking, they're not. Even the demolition following through, they're trying to conserve as much boost as possible, knowing that NRG is going to be stealing it. Jacob watching Turbo on the wall, smartly plays into the middle, but Fireburner covering all angles, takes a shot towards the net. Devo gets the save, and Remco looks to follow it up, but cannot make contact. Garrett G beats him there. Jacob again beats that second touch, and they keep this pressure on. By putting so much pace on the ball, they do not allow Northern Gaming to make solid clears, which means the ball just stays in Northern Gaming's half. And as we approach this final minute, Northern Gaming, same as game number two, down by one right now, has their work cut out for them. And this time, if they don't figure it out, they drop to the lower Bracket. This could be the end for Northern Gaming's upper bracket run. Northern Gaming trying to make sure they break this curse. And you can see Northern Gaming, they want to clear in pairs. They want to try and pass it to someone in the corner. But at the moment, NRG are ruthless. They're, they're cutting those passes off at the source. NRG keeping the pressure on, doing everything they need to do. This North American dynasty who has never been able to beat the Europeans 35 seconds away from pulling it off. Remco in the opponent's net, not where he wants to be, was hoping for the pass to come through. Right now, they're sending everything they have because they have to score here. He'll put the pressure on, <laughs> but Garrett G, the new defender for NRG, keeps it away. Final 20 seconds to hold on. Beating Northern Gaming is all they're trying to do right now, and they are set up to do it. But finally, we are seeing Northern Gaming with offensive pressure like they have not had the whole series. The best opportunity, Ken Turbo pulls to get the pass. He misses the touch, and Jacob flanks it away. Devo trying to push it out of the play. Remco, it's all up to him, but Jacob will fake him out again. It'll touch an NRG, sweeping Northern Gaming. They'll move on to the upper bracket. For the first time in land history for NRG, they finally take down a European team. They've been struggling with that fact for over a year now, and finally, you can see how happy they are. This is going to give them the confidence
to move on. This finally breaks that wall of maybe we just don't know how to beat European teams, but finally they do it. A valiant effort from Northern Gaming. The games were close, even if it was a 3-0 sweep. They just seemed a bit outpaced through most of those games. It was just so much pressure. Every single touch from NRG, so fast-paced, so difficult for Northern Gaming to get the clears on here. And you can see Jacob all smiles right now, so happy to finally have that curse of Europe lifted off of him, and he's going to be set to go on the run. Can Europe, can America do it this time? Can they be the dynasty that pushes forward? We'll find out from NRG later. I think one of my favorite parts about that series is both teams were just calm and collected the mm. whole time. Very rarely did we ever see double commitment Mm. or panic moments in goal. Every time a goal happened, it's because the team got outplayed on both sides. Northern Gaming was able to outplay NRG for their goals, NRG able to outplay Northern Gaming for their goals. And seeing that on a, when there's this much pressure on the line, it's really something pretty. Yeah, just so much pressure added by NRG. And, and as you said, though, Northern Gaming staying calm and collected. This other, this European dynasty here who's having to play with the sub, they are in just in flux right now. We don't know what they're going to do, how they're going to perform. And going up against NRG was quite the difficult feat here. NRG able to pull off the win, but we will see more of Northern Gaming later. But right now, I want to hear from Jacob with Awesome Joey over on the stage. Wow. My goodness. This crowd is electric for you guys. How did that feel playing with this behind you? The, the crowd's amazing. You guys are the best. I want to start things off with talking about the, the spicy comment from Remka yesterday, saying you guys were pretty good at, at losing in the first game, first round. What would you like to say back to that? Do you have a response at all? Thank you, Rimco. Thank you. Gave you guys a little motivation? Felt good? Yeah, of course. All right, man. So now Garrett was playing out of his mind back there, defensive plays and stuff like that. Is it cool having him as like the, a rock back there that you can kind of have your creative freedom and get out there and just kind of style on him? I can't say this like more than enough, but like I love Garrett G. He's fucking in. <laughs> <laughs> He's insane. We'll go with that. We'll go with insane. All right, man. Is there anything else you'd like to say to your fans, your family, your friends, the people behind you that have just been going nuts? I love you all. Every one of you. <laughs> Feels good, man. Feels good. All right, guys, we're going to send it back over to the desk for now, but once again for NRG breaking the curse and winning their, their first game at the tournament. Thank you, Joey, and great job.